Alright guys and welcome to another episode of Trout Gaming It's Wolf Underground Forces And this episode I am going to talk about how to aim correctly On range find Especially in later tier vehicles where your reload times 18 to 27 seconds, it's very important to do so So we've just fired up the test range I'm in the Tiger 2 with the 10.5cm gun so I'm just going to talk about how to range your shots. Obviously you can do it by getting a feel for it, but the super long range ones I'm going to talk about in this video. Just to show you how to do it, how it's done correctly. So we've got T-34, T-44, and what looks like a, oh, this test range is usually a KV-2 isn't it? The binocular view has been fixed now as well, which is nice bonus and then what looks like a IS-4 air but I'll show you on the first two tanks I've just driven it a random distance away I'm just going to show you exactly how to range your shots it isn't realistic battle setting so there isn't any marker for the aiming so you have to do it yourself so if we look at this T-34 we know is going to be 6 meters long and you have to measure it from the beginning of the tracks to the end of the tracks, not the gun barrel. I know it's 6 meters because there's a spreadsheet that tells you how long it is. So what you do is, it's a 6 meters times a thousand and divide it by how many mils it is. And the mils on the horizontal bar, each one is 4. So you can see that's 4, so that's probably 6.5 mils. So the calculation that you have to do quickly is 6 times a thousand divided by 6.5 which would then give you your range in meters and the meters are down the vertical scale so you can see 4, 6, 8, 12, 16 the ones are between obviously 2 so it's 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and this one we're seeing is about 923 so just start aiming all the way up and that's probably going to hit in its midriff which is where we want to hit so about 900 meters. Once we're happy with it, pull the trigger. And there you go, exactly where we wanted to hit. Boom, he goes. I will link in the video description the chart that I use for the lengths. But once you start fighting certain types of vehicles, high tier, you know what it's going to be. So T44 again, six meters long. So we know it's six times a thousand. Mills length probably going to be about five, so divide that gives us 1200. So he's a little bit further out, and these are the kinds of shots that will count at high tier. So, obviously, you yeah, again, you've got your vertical aiming meters down four, six, eight, so you just go all the way about 1200. We said, obviously, you. Yeah, Gunners isn't going to fire straight all the time, but you know exactly where we wanted to hit. It's kind of gun anyway, and it's going to be dead, and that's what happens in high tier games. Now the KV, because I can't get a good line on it, I'm just going to drive up here randomly. Just for good bit of knuckles until I can actually see the tank so we can get a proper aiming on. Now I am going to drive up and obviously the tank is not going to be now completely parallel to me so you do have to take that into consideration. So if the tank is angled at me it's going to be slightly longer in mills but I will show you what I mean. So if we measure the mills at this KV-2 now. It's probably about 4 at that but it is angled at me so it will change it to about 4.2. Imagine if it was just rotated and it was completely parallel to us. So we'll say 4.2 so it's the length of 7 times 1000 divided by 4.2 gives us 1666 meters. So if we just aim that, anything at the turret on a KV-2 it's going to be painful for it. So about that. 
Maybe shot isn't going to fly completely straight at this range. There you go, we've hit the top of this turret and blown him up. Now you might not have been able to do that, you know, just by walking your shots and the fact that you haven't got to reload again and give away your position to where it's about. Alright guys, and welcome back. Just loaded up a quick custom battle on Kursk, so it was continue showing you this ranging. And these are the kind of shots that will count. So, medium tank. Again, we know that it's six meters long. So, it's six times a thousand, then divided by the amount of mils. He is angled a little bit, but nothing major. So we should still be able to pretty accurately range him. So what we do is we measure. It's uh, it's about three mils, but again he's angled, so we'll say about four. So six times a thousand divided by four gives us a range of one thousand five hundred. So if we go up the vertical scale, one thousand two, one thousand four. So somewhere there you have to remember that the shell isn't going to always fly directly to the target. So there is gaming elements. Uh, that was pretty good, but a little bit short, but it's messed him up critical there to explode in front. So he would not be having a good day if that was a player. So we'll drill another shot in. Just adjust it slightly. A little bit higher because that was a little bit low. Give that a fire. And the shots are dragged massively to the left. It's still hit. But again, that wasn't down to our ranging, that was down to the game being a game and modelling the physics realistically. So we'll aim just a little bit right just in case it happens again. We should be able to take him out with this shot. Yep, there we go. No nonsense. And instead of wasting the shots we hit him with each and every one there. We'll just have a scan for some more targets. Not that I can actually see any. They're on the mini-map. Oh, where are they? Ah, there we go. So a light tank either between the trees. Seems like a good enough victim, doesn't he? So we'll measure that. It's about three mils again. But again, uh, he's angled, so we'll say four. So four times a thousand divided by four is a range of about that. Then again, it doesn't. It doesn't even matter what your range is, because someone's taking him out. <laughs> uh, typical civil. Uh, have a look for another one. There we go. Another willing victim, so we'll give him a measure. Not as angled, but uh, it's not too bad. So, four times a thousand, we'll say three mils. Gives us a range of 1,333 meters. So, that's 200. Yeah, direct hit. That's, that's where we want to be hitting. So, that's how you aim at people pretty much side on to you. I'll go back to the firing range now and I'll do a quick quick look at how to aim at people when you're facing them. Which, let's be honest, is going to be the majority. Alright guys, and welcome back to the test range. Just boot this back up. I've driven out, so I am now facing down at T44. Down here as you can see. Slightly obscured by a hill which is how it would be in a game. So we are going to measure up now. You have to remember that the value that we're looking for now is not the side value, which was 6 meters. So now we're on to the front value, the width of the tank, which is 3. So 3 is the magic number as far as we're concerned. Again, the numbers are all on that spreadsheet that I'll link in the description. So the length is about 4.5, I'd imagine. So 3 times 1000 divided by 4.5 gives us 666 meters. So it is Devil Tank. The Devil Tank must die. So we don't want to shoot straight on because that's the gun manlet, so we want to aim just a little bit higher and go for the commander hatch. A little bit, there you go. So we'll try that. No, direct hit killed. No nonsense. Now that kind of distance you would have been able to probably feel it yourself. It was just as an example. 
obviously you're going to be fighting a lot greater distance than that and simulating realistic battle but it does give you a very good idea on how to do it and the fact is because the reload times are so long in the game if you do take your time and work out the range you're laughing so thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe for more and if you do have any questions please ask them below and I'll do my best to answer them